everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome to another special type of video here. Today we'll be doing a let's try of Stella Glow. I I played a demo a few times before, it was pretty interesting, so I thought, you know, might as well play it for you guys to look to watch it and see if you guys think the game isn't worth um, picking up for yourselves. I mean, not everyone wants to download the demo and play it. They may want to watch, you know, a few videos of someone else playing, which is fine by me. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I should mention, we did get a review copy of Stella Glow, but I will not be the one reviewing it. That'll be my editor of the gaming website. Um, I'll be doing the video review, thankful, um, not thankfully, but um, you know what I'm trying to say. I'll, I'll be doing the video review. So, so yeah, that's why I'm not going to be able to do a, a Let's Play. However, if I if you guys do like what you see here, and you know I, the final game isn't as good as what I think the demo is so far, you know I may do it. I learned a lesson with Legend of Legacy, unfortunately, where... I thought the demo was a lot of fun, but then I played the final game and it was not so much fun. However, Stella Glow has a... I don't know what is about these games. They just look so gorgeous. Like, you just... They, they look so unreal. That's the thing I want to... It's like the art style is just... Oh, I, I'm done. I'm done. Let's just do a new game here and go off into this demo. I'll try doing some impromptu voice acting when the time comes, though. Oh, here we go. A Burning Flames. Where is this? We should be fine this far out. Put him down. It burns. My body. It's burning. Hang in there. Yes, that's right. I I thought and I lost. I'm, I'm going to fight, fight, and fight, and then... Don't lose your soul, please! Kill me. I don't care who. Just kill me in these dark emotions. If left like this, I would probably go insane. I'd hurt somebody. In that case, I'd rather die right here and now. Or contaminate the world at then what are we supposed to I will die here. That is the correct thing to do. But I have a favor to ask. I want you to promise me one thing. This world, keep it safe. This suffering must never be repeated. But... This is something only you can accomplish. I understand. I'll protect this world you love so much. No matter who becomes my enemy. No matter what I must sacrifice. This promise will become a curse to you. Still, I entrust my wishes to you. You have done well, so let us fight together. Until the day comes when your soul will shine again. This is goodbye for now. I'll be waiting for your return! No matter how long it takes. Years! Centuries! Goodbye. Alright, yeah, that was me wanting to be a ham there for a few minutes. Prologue, Song of Beginning. <clears throat> so let's start this out, shall we? I believe this game has a lot of voice acting in it. The story of Elcrest the Hero. Once upon a time, there was a god on the moon. The people worshipped this god. And soon, a kingdom was founded. The Kingdom of Regnant. While the kingdom thrived, the people's faith in God dwindled.
God despaired over this and sent an army of angels down to earth to punish the faithless. Until one boy, Elcrest, stood up. Elcrest journeyed to where God resided, the moon, and gave his life to quiet it. Saved by his sacrifice, the Regnant Kingdom now regards and praises him as a hero. The end. And that's all for today. I'll continue the rest tomorrow. Aww. Tell us more about the hero Elcrest. Yeah, tell us more. I want to know more about this mysterious hero. Then, wake up early and come to the square again tomorrow. Okay. Oh, right. Have any of you seen Alto? I saw him going to the forest this morning. Hunting again? Sheesh. Well, what well, better thing to do than to go out to hunting when the, when, the, when the thrill of the hunt is out there for you? And this is some of the game's scenery. Like I've said before, this game just looks really good. I wonder if this is a good spot. Oh, okay, wolves. Oh, you didn't need to read that. Probably didn't need to. Jackpot. Today's a special day. I'm bringing you home no matter what. Alto! Uh-oh. Lisette! How many times have I told you you can't go so deep into the... The wolves! Situation, but oh well. Stay behind me, Lizette. All right, as we can see already, Forest of Beginnings is where we are at right now. This game's combat seems like it look, look, is looking like it takes a cue right out of Fire Emblem. The three conditions to feel enemies, defeat conditions, Alto is defeated, or Lord of Magna made in heaven. Doesn't matter. So as you can see, we have the turn order presented on the bottom part of the screen. I don't think I'm explaining to it really. T tutorial turn order. Turn order is displayed at the bottom of the top of the screen. You can see you can see which unit will perform the next action by checking the turn order. The turn order may change based on the actions performed during a turn. If a unit ends its turn without using an without acting, its next turn will be, take a short amount of time to arrive. Alternatively, if a, if a unit performs a strong attack, its, its, yeah, its next turn will take longer to arrive. Other variables also affect turn order, so be sure to remember this when you're when you're strategizing. All right, so as we can see, the wolves have a lot of turn orders right now. Probably there's a lot of them out there right now. But don't worry, these pesky wolves don't know what's about to hit them. As you can see on the bottom screen, it does show their stats and what they'll probably drop. All right, yeah, see, the movement is identical to that of Fire Emblem. Movement. Select move to display Alto's range of movement. Choose the destination for Alto to move to. All right, so we're going to move. So you see here, just where the lion is up there. Unfortunately... Unlike Fire Emblem, it's, the moving around on the map isn't that, you know, as fluid. It's kind of clunky. But hey, that's fine. It still it still suffices. So let's go over there and attack him. The first attack's mine. Alright, more tutorials. Attack. If there's an enemy within your range, you can attack them. It's like to attack to do so. Well, pretty simple enough. We're gonna attack this wolf. As you can see, also, it's like, also with, you know, similar to Fire Emblem, we'll see... How, what's our percent chance of, of landing the attack, and how much we're going to be able to, how much damage we'll do to him. It won't, so basically he'll, he'll, we'll do three hit points of damage to him. On the bottom screen, as you can see, you can see all the enemy stats, their hit points, their special points, and their drops. So he'll drop wolf meat. Never had wolf meat. Don't know if it's any good or not, but hey, let's attack him and see. Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get a critical. Now nah, we'll, we'll get a three. As you can see, after every attack, we will also get experience as well. Direction in battle. Choosing a direction after every turn will have a great impact on the outcome of battle. Attacking the enemy from the right or left side will improve your accuracy. Attacking from behind will improve your accuracy and increase the amount of damage you deal. Same applies to when you get attacked. Attempt to attack your enemies from behind while preventing them from doing so. Prevent them from doing the same. Okay, so we gotta be sure we, we wanna face him so we don't get attacked by, from the side. Um, unfortunately, you can't really do much. So we're gonna have you move up, and you'll just have to wait. 
I don't know why she's even an option to move. I don't really made much use of her in this any type of battle type things. So he has ability to counter. Abilities. Characters have different abilities. For example, Alto has his counter. If Alto is attacked by an enemy, he will continue counter the enemy within within his, within his attack range. So basically, like such like in Fire Emblem, where you can always automatically counter attack an enemy if they're within range of your weapon. Only certain characters can use that in this game. Character abilities can be viewed on the bottom screen in the status tab. Ooh, oh boy, he did, he did three damage to us, but we managed to slap him for three damage for doing that to us. Hurts, down it. Alright, so that wolf will just stay there, and so will that one. And I'll be back there, too. I, I have some medicine with me. Give us some of that medicine. Tutorial items. You can use items per, you possess during a battle. If you, get low H, if you get low on HP, be sure to use a recovery item. Sounds fine with me. So let's get behind him and use a round recovery item. Healing herb on you so we can regain all of our hit points back. And we'll just wait. The tutorial, okay. Skills. You can use skills by consuming SP. There are many different types of skills, all which can be quite powerful. Alright, cool. Alto can currently use double slash. Be sure to use it when you, when you, when you have the opportunity. Okay, so we'll use our double slash on him, even though I think it may be a bit, you know, overkill. Actually, yeah, it is overkill. He has four hit points left, but unfortunately, I thought that he wouldn't be able to take him out. So, let's use that double slash on him and take out this wolf in one turn. And he did. We got some wolf meat and a lot of experience for taking him out. So now we'll just have to wait. We want to have our backs to the enemy, so let's just face him. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Crap, he attacked my side. But thankfully, we can counter him. Alright, so, boy, is he gonna come after us too? Nope, he'll try to, but not make it. That wolf back here will remain in the shadows. Alright, so let's get, let's get, uh, let's attack this guy. Alright, only three damage, but hey, oh, that should do it. I don't want to use too much SP, I don't want to, you know, go ham with it. And we're going to wait. And we're going to face him. He can't move anywhere, thankful. Oh, no, he can move. Oh, I'm being surrounded. I won't die, at least. Thankfully, he can counter all of them. Oh, we're almost leveling up, too. That's cool. It's my turn. Okay, uh, oh, she can't even reach him. That's unfortunate. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's give, let's give you the, let's use that last healing herb on him. Here I go. Because, you know, we don't want him to... We don't want to die in the tutorial. That's embarrassing. We die in the tutorial. I mean, okay. Oh, no. If only we could finish him off. We're only going to bring him down to one hit point. Oh, well. Let's use our double slash on uh, this guy right here. I'm ready. I just want to try. Oh, cool! He'll be done in one hit. That's even better. Hold stance. Rather get rid of him because he has more hit, uh, hit points left. More wolf meat. Good. And we leveled up to level two. Cool. All of our stats went up too. Tutorial leveling up. Defeat enemies to gain experience points and strengthen your skills and level up. Leveling up will also fully restore your HP and SP. All right, and uh, let's just wait here. We're gonna face him. Oh, it's unfortunate. I was gonna try and get the girl to finish him off, but the lion is going to do it. See, he's gonna do it to himself because of countering. All that remains now is the dark wolf up there. It's my turn. Uh, let's just let's just not even have you run out there. So we'll have you go there and we'll have you wait. Did he come down the west, Mr. Big Bad Wolf? Oh, yes, he is. Go. And we can reach him. All right, so just double slash on him. Hopefully, right. that, that, uh, I won't. It won't take him out in one hit, but it'll take out almost half of his health. So we're good. Hold stance. One, two. I'll take a few turns to take him out, but hey. It's my 
my turn. Okay, we're gonna actually move you up, see if we can actually get you to attack him, too. Nope. Okay, we'll wait there. We have five damage, but hey, we can counter that. And I think this next turn he should be pretty much done for. <laughs> I'll go. I'm ready. Mm. Let's use a double slash on him so we can just finish him off for good. <clears throat> Hold stance. One, two. All right, and that's the end of him. We got our wolf meat too, and plenty of meat. Mission accomplished, or mission clear. 600G. Okay, cool. All the, all the results of the battle for us. Cool. Look at all this meat. <sighs> that could have gone really badly. Thanks for coming. You were a great help. Yeah, you're a great sure, medic. But do you always come this far into the forest to hunt? No, but today's special. What do you mean? Let's hurry home. Everyone in the village gets a bite too. All right. Huh? Hey, wait for me! Well, while they're about to go off to the village, I figure we're going to call an episode here. So next time on Let's Try, the Stella Glow demo, we'll be going back into town seeing what was all that about. Why did we go out deep into the forest to get to get all that wolf meat? We'll never know until next time. So if you enjoyed this video, give it, be sure to leave a comment in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of this demo so far. What are you guys' impressions of Stella Glow if you've played a demo yourself? And let me know if this is a game in the future you'd like me to, you know, fully play on this channel. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.